Hi, this is Mike Marston here. Um, a hot subject that I want to talk about today. Um, today is 14th of February, 2014. I'd like to talk about HTTP requests and web services and how we can get data very easily and very inexpensively um, from a controller to the cloud or to a spreadsheet or whatever. So we created this web page here called HTTP request. What I'll do is open, um, have a look in CPT. You can see where it's set up. But what, what's happened here is very, very clever because what we've done is created a new kit. Let me just show you the kits. We have a new kit now called SQL here. And what you can do is create new tables. This is the service and the database name. Um, let me just show you the database name which will be here, easyio.db, fight through FileZilla, connect to the controller. You will see that that database is there. It's automatically created by, and there, um, sorry, where is it? It's automatically created, there it is, easyio.db. Um, and you also need this PHP file, which you all have. Uh, it just needs to be, um, for, for the time being, just manually put onto the, um, SD card under the under the web under the web folder. <clears throat> if you don't have it, um, just let us know and we'll send it through. The reason for the PHP Lite admin is it allows us to administrate the databases. So if I was to click on here, it will take me directly to that login page, and you can see from here up the top, it's ad, it's it's actually um, addressing that that PHP script that I just told you about. And currently, I have fifty four records in there. So just have a look what we've got here. We've got an easy error database. The table is called MM. If I wanted to create a new table, all I would need to do is this. And I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to copy what I've already got in here. So um, what I'm going to do actually is um, just going to copy this. Let's just do that, copy. And then I'm just going to go into here, add a new table. So SQL light table so you can have multiple tables each table allows a hundred thousand records which is probably several years of data um, I haven't enabled it yet I'm just having a little look at it you give it the name here I'm going to call this um, the beast so I want to automatically create a new table but within the same database and the way we're going to check that is by using the admin manager so all I'm going to do now is just enable that true Nothing will happen just yet. I'm now going to go in and um, paste in that data that we had. Okay, um, and I'm going to change the names just so it's a bit more interesting. Call this um, duct temp. Um, in fact, if I highlight them all, I can change them all at the same time. Let's call this one motor, and this one could be power. Now, nothing happens until I go back to the table, the new table, right hand click and go action sync structure and then again update structure and if we go back now to our browser uh, let's just go back again I could do a refresh but I'd rather show you from here and I'll show you where these links come from these are built into the um, into the database sorry into the um, graphic so we're now back at the admin tool we've created the beast table from using very normal object oriented programming which is what you do every day of the week um, and if you look on Google you will see this is a, a very well supported open source um, database and companies that use it um, in fact Chrome the Chrome browser itself I'm using a Chrome browser you can see here actually uses um, what we call SQL Lite, which is what this is and the other one is Skype um, the um, the messaging and um, you know um, conference uh, service which is now owned by Microsoft so as you can see the structure easyio.db we've got a table called MM we've got a table called the beast I've only exposed MM for the time being for for the web services but you could easily add that so if I go back to CPT now if you look inside you can see I've put a hyperlink in here but then I've given you an example of the, the, um, the command below same here and same here. Let's go back to the web page. Let's just see how that works. If I press the back button here, it'll take me back to my web page that I created. 
if I click on this link it will give me a CSV file and as you see the information is perfect and uh, that will come up in a moment just wait for that to come up looks like my PC didn't like that I think I tried to open it too quickly there it is so that's fine um, if you wanted to see that in pure HTML I could click on this script here and if you want to see what that script really looks like here it is if I just highlight this any IT person or anyone involved in databases is very familiar with this if I do go to it will give me the same thing I will get the data directly from our database on the SD card coming directly live from the Sedona objects that we created earlier so I think you would agree that's pretty nice and of course here in the admin click here is where I take you to this PHP admin address okay lastly let's just show you now what we can do in Excel um, if I open Excel here and I go to this cell and I say okay let's go to data let's go to um, from web now the first thing it will do is it will just go to my default web page so we'll just get rid of that get a nice clean URL paste that in and press go and now you'll see the data come into Excel if I just highlight the table now and do import and then press OK you will see that the data is imported directly into the Excel so for people who are knowledgeable on writing it you know Excel scripts and macros um, you could quite easily automate this and um, also for those of you who do email services and things like that rather than waiting for us to do that auto emailing because we've not finished it yet um, you might write something yourself but anyway for the future we are writing that and um, there will be new graphic widgets coming in for the next few months and we'll start giving you ways of um, looking at your histories and comparing different dates and different months and starting to do some meaningful calculations in Sedona and then displaying them in the graphics all for no cost um, when you buy this controller we've already stated what we do is we keep adding value as a pull-through strategy so you buy the controllers so that's it for today